So for those of us that I know some people have had these issues where you need to update um, lots of computer for a particular organization or for a particular office and um, using the normal Windows updates wouldn't work and you keep on seeing that retry or it does not just update, it keeps um, showing you errors. Well, this is because perhaps the bandwidth is not enough. The bandwidth which you are using to download is not enough. So I can give you an advice. Maybe you don't want to use Wi-Fi. Just use um, a mobile data, a subscription. Just get a mobile data and then follow this process of downloading the updates on a flash drive, on a, uh, on a USB drive. So once you've done that, once you've gotten the update on the USB drive, you can go ahead and distribute it to other computers to get them updated using this process, which I'll also show you in this video. So you can use a hard drive. You can use something like this. You can use a hard drive to get the updates or a flash drive of 8 gig. It's, that should be enough. Okay, you can go ahead and use a hard drive or a flash drive, but make sure the hard drive or the flash drive you want to use is um, 8 gig, 8 gigabytes has 8 gigabytes memory. So the items required is an empty flash drive of at least 8 gigabytes and then your mobile data. I would advise you don't use um, office Wi-Fi because it might have restriction in terms of bandwidth. So the bandwidth might not be enough to download or it will just be very slow. So once you have those um, ready, you plug the flash drive to your computer and just type um, download Windows 10. Okay, once you type download Windows 10, or you just click on the link in the description to bring you to this page. So for those that want to update this, their particular computer, you can just use the first one which you can see here, which is update now, and then it's update your computer. Just follow through the steps, it's quite easy. But for those that need to update maybe a lot of computers in the organization on the office or in, at home, maybe you have four or five computers you need to update, you click on this download tool now, and then you save the file. So you give it some time to go ahead and run the download. As you can see at the top right corner, it's downloading. So um, once it's done downloading, you click on it and open it, and then start the um, you start running the setup file. Okay. So just give it a moment. It usually takes a moment. Then it pops up this Windows button. I mean Windows symbol. Sorry. So. Um, I know some people have been having issues um, with this. So you see getting a few things ready at this point is loading, trying to get everything. Make sure you have a strong internet. Like I said, use mobile data, get a subscription just for this purpose. Um, don't use uh, public Wi-Fi, it might not be useful to you. So you select create installation media. Okay, because that's what we want to do. We don't want to upgrade this PC now, but if it's that computer you want to upgrade, then you might not need all the flash drive and all. Just click on upgrade this PC. So at this point, um, we are not. We don't want to use recommended up, recommended updates because we are not upgrading this particular computer. We are connecting. We want to upgrade other computers. So we need certain sort of. So we select architecture both. So it can work for 34, 32 and 64 bits. Then we select USB flash drive because that's what we are using. Do not select ISO file, okay, because the process of that is so stressful. And click on next, then select your flash drive. Make sure it's connected, it should show here. Then you select it, make sure you're selecting the right flash drive. If you have more than one, please remove them. Make sure you have just the one you want to download the updates too. so once this is done once the download is done you can start this step too so you open the computer you want to upgrade and plug in that particular flash drive you will see the flash drive then you click on the setup file and then if you have an admin it puts in the admin password then to then you click on next okay Click on next, then to check for the updates. Please, while doing this, I would advise you turn off the Wi Fi of your computer. Turn off the Wi Fi of your computer. You don't need the Wi Fi of the computer to install the updates or to download the updates onto the computer. You might need it later on. But if, if you don't mind, click on the accept. 
then tell you to just follow the process. It's just so to tell you getting updates, checking for updates. So it's it's getting the updates from the flash drive. Okay, so it will do checking updates. 10 to 100 it goes to 100 okay it gets the updates to 100 percent and it usually takes uh, i don't know how many, how long but it's not too long though maybe 10 minutes thereabouts and to see making sure you're ready to install to check your storage to make sure you have enough storage to install it on that computer that's to install the updates and once the storage is enough it starts the um, the updates okay so it's something you can just go ahead and do for all the computers in the organization just or in your office or your personal computer or the computers of everyone in your home it will save you um, the need to start updating them one by one and consuming your um, data or internet so you can see it says ready to install blah 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 click on next then we want to keep our personal files and apps then click on next if that is the case and uh, this personal files only if if you don't keep the apps maybe there are some apps that you want to get rid of then you can do that nothing means it will delete everything it's just like you want to reset the computer or clear everything and reset and set it to default click on next then click on getting updates just follow the steps the way you see it it's pretty straightforward then from this it will it has to get to 100 it might take a bit of time then then you can to tell you working on updates and then it has to get to 100 percent do sometimes after getting to 100 percent as you can see below it says your pc will restart several times so it might get to 100 percent and then restart from one again but it should be very fast it won't be um it won't take um a lot of time though this originally before getting to 100 in the first place might take um let's say 20 minutes tops so i don't know per computer you um let me say roughly um 20 to 20 to 30 minutes okay so once this whole process is done the computer should be up to date so you can check for updates and then you would see it to tell you you are up to date okay but if it does not tell you you are up to date there's no problem you just need to turn on your your wi-fi or your mobile data and then um just go to that um, place just this windows update you go to it and then you click on update again so it's just refresh it and um, just get the little updates and install the little updates that are remaining okay so that's just a step to follow thank you subscribe